Hi everyone, this is what I want to talk about today, new AirPods Pro 2nd generation. There are so many videos on YouTube about this topic. If you want to know more about the sound quality, you should check some audio channel. If you want to know about all the technical specifications of that, then you should check Marquez or any other similar channel. But if you want the honest review of someone who had to go and spend $300 for these headphones, then you should stick with me for a little longer. First of all, this video is not sponsored. I'm not getting anything for free. I really had to go and buy these products. And when it comes to Apple products, there are no small prices for that. In this video, I want to talk about the pluses, the advantages of this, the minuses, and also the reason why I bought it and for what I want it. Well, let's start with the minuses. I think the first and the most obvious minus is the price itself. But it's not just the price. The thing is that in America, the price of AirPods Pro starts around $250. But when it comes to Europe, it's getting much higher than that. You can be even paying around $350, thanks to all the shipping, taxes and other extra fees for all the shops. That's what I found as the biggest disadvantage. I think Apple could do something about it and more check the prices of the products abroad. I don't really mind paying for what they are asking for. But I don't like to pay hundreds of dollars extra just for another store bringing it to me. Well, let me order it from America or buy it from there. Or let me buy it at least for the same price. Another bit controversial topic, especially now thanks to the regulations, is this. The USB-C or lightning port. I don't really understand why Apple didn't put USB-C here already. They have it in so many products and here we are still getting lightning. Especially because the AirPods Pro has a quite a long period. It's been three years since they made this edit. And I believe it might take another three years. But they have to comply with the regulations. So they will eventually have to change at least the box within next years. Maybe they are looking forward to remove it completely and we will be charging it through MagSafe. But who knows? I just think it's a small thing and they could have changed it already. Now one feature I want to talk about is something which I have in both pluses and minuses. It's the noise cancellation. The potential minus of it might be that you get really separated from the outside world. Be careful about it. If you put a noise cancellation, you basically don't hear anything around you. I sometimes catch myself that I just turn it on and not even turn on the music. I just want to mute the people around. But it might be even dangerous when crossing the streets or you just don't know what is happening around you. And also one more thing I notice about it, actually other people notice that, is when I make phone calls, when I'm somewhere outside and use the noise cancellation, I tend to speak very quiet because you hear yourself perfectly, you hear the other person perfectly and you speak quietly because you think it's quiet around you. So I would recommend to turn it off for phone calls. I also had one issue when reconnecting to multiple devices. Well, I was watching the online video on the Mac and when it got stuck thanks to the slow internet or whatever reason, I was using the phone at the same time and it automatically reconnect to the phone. But when the video reloaded and started to play again, it didn't connect back. Well, that's probably my fault, I should focus on one device at a time. But it was just a bit annoying at the time, so I wanted to mention it. If you want to make sure that it doesn't connect to device you don't want, it's very simple, you just turn off Bluetooth there and it will stick to the one you are currently using. Another example of what happened to me is that I was using only one believe it was only right one and I was watching something on the iPad but then I didn't put it in the box to reset it and I just put both in and went for the run and the whole run the other headphone was not playing it was playing only from one it was kind of stuck to the iPad from before so I couldn't listen to anything on the run 
Well, again, I think it's my fault. When you put it to the box, it will nicely reset it. And once you open it again and use it again, it will be all fine. Again, just a small thing which I wanted to say. Now I'm kind of getting between the pluses and minuses. The topic is about sound quality. I think the quality of the sound is great. I really enjoy listening music on that. But I'm no professional. I can't describe any buses, any sounds, any whatever it is. So from my point of view, I like it. But uh, you'll probably find other channels and other people who will be saying it's not so good. I think it really comes to the price. I believe for this high price you can find many other headphones, maybe even cheaper, which will provide better quality, better sound. But I just want to stick with AirPods. I would buy them anyway, even if they are better sounding headphones. I just like the connectivity, I just like to be Apple product in general. What I think is definitely the biggest advantage of these headphones is the noise cancellation mode. I mentioned it before, but it's really a great thing. I used to increase the volume a lot when you want to kind of over scream the surrounding and mute the people around. You had to go really high in volume and you end up listening to music basically screaming at you. Now with the noise cancellation off, I can be easily somewhere in half of the volume bar and I can perfectly hear everything and enjoy the music again. I use the headphones outside or in the car 90% of the time, so this is a big thing for me. But it's not just the noise cancellation, I should mention the other side as well, the transparency mode. I use the transparency mode for running, because I am running in the city most of the time and you need to know what is happening around you. I want to hear all the cars and all the people, everything what is around. And even in that transparency mode, I can hear everything well balanced. I can listen to the podcast, I can listen to the music. And on the other side, I can hear everything around me. Maybe it's also connected to this adaptive transparency, which not many people talk about. I'll talk about it a little bit later in this video. But I just mentioned running, which brings me to one huge problem I had with my previous headphones. The problem was that they just don't hold in my ears. These standard cable headphones or the previous basic AirPods, they have pretty much the same shape and they just don't fit my ear. With these AirPods Pro, you are getting the replacement set so you can really choose which fits your ear. You also have the fit ear test in the phone so you can try different sizes and check which gives you the perfect fit. If you are having the same problem that the headphones are falling from your ears, I think this is a huge advantage that you can use different sizes of these silicone tips. And now even if it fell down from your ear, you will not lose it like these previous ones. You could easily just drop it somewhere and never find it again. Thanks to the GPS tracking which you have on all of these now, you have the box and each of these have their own GPS tracker. So you will never lose them again. You can easily find it in the application on the phone. Now I want to talk about adaptive transparency. I mentioned that before and when you enable this feature, the AirPods will constantly scan your surrounding. Apple is saying that they are doing that 48,000 times a second. So it means that it will know all the sounds around you. For example, you going around a fence and some dog jumps at you and starts barking. The headphones will analyze the sound even before coming to your ear and they will reduce the high sound to 80 decibels. Same things with horning cars or sirens. It will not remove these sounds, you will still hear everything but it will lower it down to 80 decibels, so it will not be annoying for your ears and it will not be scary for them. I think this is a very great small feature which not many people talk about. Now a few more technical things about the new box. I like for example the sound when you put it on the charger. But as you might notice, I just put it on the Apple Watch charger. Yes, that's a great advantage, you don't need MagSafe for it. You can charge it with your Apple Watch charger that little bit balance the thing which I don't like about the lightning. 
Next feature what you have here is this loop so you can connect some rope to it, you can attach it to your bag or to your belt. Well, good feature which I'm currently not using. But anyway, another thing is probably the extended battery life. It should give you 6 hours of listening music, even with the noise cancellation on. Plus, of course, a lot more when you put it in the box to recharge. There are so many small things on either side now. It can be small disadvantages, advantages. I think every person will have different experience with it. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to get to the part why I wanted that and why I bought it. Well, small disclaimer now. My lovely wife bought it for me, so I technically got the headphones for free. But we still had to pay the price for it. So it's not that I would be getting it from somewhere to just review that. I have to buy all of these devices I'm using myself. So I hope it will not lower the credibility of this honest video. But for who are the AirPods good? Kind of for the reasons I already mentioned before. I had a problem with the AirPods falling from my ears. So if you are actively exercising, running or just walking a lot and you have the same problem that it doesn't fit your ears, this is a perfect thing because you can adjust it with the different ear tips. The second reason is probably when you make a lot of phone calls. I don't like to have these cable headphones or I don't like to hold the phone all the time, especially when you're driving. You want to have a free hands and make the calls. That's the second reason. And third, maybe just when you're using a lot of uh, public transportation. You just sometimes want to be in your own world, you want to mute the sounds around you and with these headphones and the noise cancellation, it's just the perfect thing. And the last reason is probably if you just have the money, don't hesitate to buy it. You will not regret it. I don't regret spending the money for it. It's a great technology. It's really headphones for 2022, 2023. I don't like to be somewhere in the past with the cables. I like to look in the future. And if you want to look in the future on this channel as well, then make sure to subscribe and you will have all the videos. Now you can put the headphones in and start enjoying the music or maybe listen to some more videos from Apple and Academy, learn some new tips and tutorials. Now I can't hear you anymore. I can't hear even myself. But if you still hear me, click the like button and I'll be happy to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.